so hello guys, welcome to the channel. So we are here because we are here at our next Okay, so ito po yung team namin, guys. Seminar on the C1, 63 micro perspective and Asian hospitality. Yung team namin ay Jumalang. Cultural Competence and Hospitality Industry Spectrum, May 24, 2019. So, that's it. So, we're going to get the two of us. We're going to get Video. So ngayon actually, uh, kung makikita ninyo, iba-iba yung mga attire namin kasi yun yung tinatawag na dream attires. So we are uh, told to wear our dream, ano, dream attire kung ano, na, kung ano yung gusto namin in the future. So for now, I'm wearing uh, I'm wearing kasi yung Ito yung ano, future job ko. Okay, ano ba yun eh? Yan. Nickname Dodo. I want to be a manager something. Today's Toastmaster couple. Should I my seat me? Boys. Video. <laughs> Video. Micro Perspective in Tourism and Hospitality With the theme, Culture Competence in the Hospitality Industry Spectrum Now we may request everyone to rise for the invocation and remain standing for singing of the Philippine National Anthem to be followed by a CN hymn
You may now take your seats. Okay, again, welcome to the seminar on THC 163, Microperspective in Tourism and Hospitality. With the theme, Cultural Competence in the Hospitality Industry Spectrum. How gorgeous, how handsome they look today. I can imagine the students uh, from five or six years from now. Now, what would make their moods even better is to give them a word to feed their souls and get energized for the seminar session for today. So now for the welcome remarks, may I call on Professor Izem Philomor Santillan. Let's give her a round of applause, please. Thank you. So, um, good morning everyone. So, nandito po tayo ngayon para maduto at sana po ay makinig tayo ng babuti because these are not just knowledge, bits of knowledge, but also nuggets of wisdom. Okay, so um, these are speakers that has their own expertise through the years. So, madami ang ating matutunan. So, for the students at the back, please um, do not be distracted kung hinamalit, masulod, just, just stay focused. And um, in lieu of the head of the department, um, Professor Maricho S. Armada, she would not be around because he has a prior commitment um, before this one. But we hope the whole HMND family, the whole, the whole faculty and staff is hoping and praying for our learnings for today that we may not just be um, learned from today, but in the future, daladala po natin ito. And these speakers are also, they have their, ano um, nagpuan talaga na hin time and effort. So let us give them what they deserve. Tama po ba yun? Okay, sige. Sino na ang ready to, to learn for today? Are you ready? Very good. Okay, sige. Hindi ko na ito papahabain. So let's start. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Kulian, for sharing message. So now we are all geared up for our seminar session for today. We know all of you are excited, tama ba? Yes. Parang hindi. Excited na ba? Yes. Okay now, so let's hear it from the BSHM1A. How about to be at HM1B? Parang may na section ko para kay. How about sa 1C? Oh, ay wala. BHHM1C. How about sa 1B? So I guess everyone's ready to start this seminar. We would like to recognize and acknowledge our first guest speaker for today. May I call on Ms. Clarissa de Sousa Ferreira, the class president of BSHM1A, to introduce our guest. I have a little activity with you. Um, can you greet the person beside you a good morning? The best good morning and the best good morning. morning. Today, um, I'd like to verify lang. These are HRT students, correct? HR. Hospitality management students. Because the last time I was also invited for a talk, um, sa yopan ako an ako discussion. I, I my discussion was correct, pero the crowd was wrong <laughs> because I was invited to do a talk at SU. But it was actually an orientation at the hotel. 
And then I was just a replacement of my colleague because he was the one to, he was supposed to be the one to do the talk. And then he told me that I, I replace him. I will be doing an orientation. With so, um, this is the advantage of the first speaker because everyone is still under, I know, my energy pa kumbaga. So I hope no one gets bored while I'm talking. Kasi hindi ako mas slides actually. I have limited slides and I have I'm giving one hour and fifteen minutes to talk. Sabi ko how can I how can I talk that long if I'm only give it if I only have a few slides. But anyway, so yeah, I'll just be giving more chicas na lang along the way. Okay, so my topic is about overview of the hotel industry and then the benefits also or the advantages of a frontliner. I generalize ko na lang. I won't be sharing um, all about the frontliners, but the benefits in the hotel industry itself. So I named my discussion Immortals in Action. So why Immortals in Action? Kasi po, in the future, when you're out there of your four corner, uh, on your four corner room, and you're out there doing your thing, you graduate na kayo and all that, may king heroes na kayo of the nation. Why? Kasi you will be going out there on duty 24/7, regardless of what's the climate, may bagyo, lumindol, whatever, may suno, you are at your hotel working still, taking care of your guests. So are you ready for that big challenge? Yes. So are you ready to be heroes? Yes. Well, welcome. <laughs> welcome to the club. <laughs> so yes, um, I've been in the industry for 10 years now. Since 2000, actually since I started the course, um, I'd like to ask you also, why you take up this course when you can be a nurse, when you can be an engineer, when you can be an architect? Anyone can answer it? Who can answer me? Sige lang, there's no right or wrong here. Anybody? May nabay ako prize, who knows? May na ako mahatan na free stay. Shout out. Sige, anyone? Yes, yes, dear. Why did you take up this course? this course in the first place. Um, I didn't know what I wanted after graduating high school. Um, my sister is a nurse. My father is a... Uh, almost everyone in the family are licensed criminologists. My father is a police officer. He's a retired police officer. My sister is a nurse. My mom, she did not... She is a graduate of a family. A promising job. Ako then, um, I was... I, I didn't know what I wanted kasi eh. But my friends, <laughs> I was influenced by my friends. They were the reason why I took up the course. So most of my friends in high school were taking up the reason. But actually, that was last minute. I actually took up, I actually tried taking an entrance exam at EDSU, BSIT. But then my father really didn't want because he wanted me to become a police officer also. Diba? Sa ganita kong talk. <laughs> so that's it. Um, I didn't want to take the path he took, so I did another one, and then tinuloy ko na lang. It took me a while to to love it, to love the course. First year, I was I, I would go to school, just 
attend the classes and then go out. Izem knows that. We're, he's a few of the friends that I made with in college. He's one of my closest friends in college. I'm not an achiever in school. I'm not even a complaude. I don't even know why I'm here sharing my insights. <laughs> but I'm gonna share you my experience. As a regular student, I wasn't an achiever. I wasn't a dislister. I'm just a regular student. I sit at the back of the of this hall when there are seminars because I don't want to get pulled. I don't want to recite. But every time I'm asked to recite, I say something. I just don't show off that much. Shut up. Ballet. <laughs> so that's it. But eventually, later on, I started to love it when I learned the theories, when I learned the techniques, when I learned. How to deal it? How to deal with it? Especially, um, the fun part will always be at the last years. So now you're still in your first year, so you're just warming up. You're just getting started. So mostly academics, and it gets boring. I know. But later on, when you go to your second year, and then eventually third year, and then fourth year, the practical starts. Then that's where you start the fun. Do not. So I hope you won't get bored. Huh? I want to see you soon when you graduate. I want to see the same faces. Okay? Okay. So, let's move on. So I'll give you an overview first of the hotel operations. So basically, a hotel is an establishment that provides paid lodging on a short-term basis and actually even long-term. I won't be tackling uh, every visa.